What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Boys and girls, Becky again with another extra video. Today, we're going to get into Lana Del Rey High by the Beach. Now, High by the Beach, does she mean High by the Beach? Or is it like, you know, altitude high, we're by the beach, maybe we're in this nice, I don't know, Greek Mykonos or something, there's an elevation, I don't know. We're going to find out though, okay? I uh, hope you're having a good day. Come vibe with your boy. Lana Del Rey, you know, she get down like that, or maybe it's a different kind of high. I don't know. That house about to fall into the sea, man. Looks abandoned almost. it for a second. <laughs> Sorry, I'm quiet with this one, but I'm like, I had lots of words. I don't know what's going on. It's a very different sound. What? 
Yeah, they're like reversed and have like a glitch effect on them. All right. Uh. Pfft. This one was different. This is not what I was expecting at all. Uh, I don't know what I was expecting, to be honest. I think I was expecting a little bit more like pop, you know, kind of like summertime sadness kind of vibes, piano, whatever. Because that's like when I hear Lana Del Rey, that's what I think of. I'm, but I'm not familiar with the music, so this is cool. This is telling me that she can be pretty versatile because this is very different. This song is very different. I haven't heard anything like this. And I think I've heard this chorus somewhere. 151 million views. Maybe I heard it on TikTok at some point. I don't know. It's eight years old. I think I've heard the chorus. The chorus sounds familiar. But regardless, the whole song is very different. This is like, it's almost got this eerie kind of factor to it. Like this unsettling, and I think it's because it's in a minor scale. And some of the notes that she hits are just, you know, in that minor key and they don't, they're not as joyous. They sound a little eerie, a little, almost like this horror kind of feel. But at the same time, there's a trippy element to it, which I really like. And the trippy factor matches perfectly with getting high by the beach. Because I could imagine if I was high and it was nighttime and I was listening to this, I would be spacing out. I would just be tripping just for the whole four minutes just being on another planet. Just because it, the sound is so, it's atmospheric, but it's also just otherworldly. Like I'm not familiar with the style and the sounds of this at all. It just sounds so different. And what's cool about this though, is also her vocals. They sound very pretty at certain parts too, which is crazy because you have this pretty vocal on top of this very weird instrumental. And it's creating this, this contrast of like, I don't know if I kind of like it, but I do like the vocals. And then you kind of go back and forth. It's very different. Uh, caught me off guard for sure. The video, the video seems like she's just trying to give a, uh, uh, it makes me want to think that the song is about her trying to get away from paparazzi, trying to get away from fame. Like, she just wants to get high by the beach, man. She just wants to go to her beach house, maybe spend time by herself, her family, whatever, and just smoke a joint and relax at the beach and not be bothered, right? Like, she wants to get away from it all. But some of the lyrics also said, like, you know, it seemed very specific to, like, a man. You know, she said, just because you're a bad motherfucker doesn't mean you're a man or something like that. And so, I don't know, maybe she's trying to get away from one person single person and it's not just the fame but I think it could be taken a few different ways the writing on here is pretty solid you know and it's a little poetic so you could take it that way but the video is, is telling me she wants to get away from paparazzi she's at her beach house and you have a freaking you know a helicopter is like following her hey we got to get a shot of Lana she's in a bathing suit you know it's gonna make money put it on the magazine paparazzi is the scum of the earth by the way I really don't understand how they have a job like they legally can stalk people essentially like that's what they are as stalkers so I don't understand how they can't I don't know it's weird legal area with freedom of press and I don't know but fuck paparazzi so overall this song will I play it back I'd be down to play it back I'm not itching to play it back but I would be down under some circumstances one nighttime I think this is very very nighttime oriented kind of song this just has that space feel and two maybe I've had a little some some a little some uh, you know what I'm saying maybe just a little some and then play this and I bet it hits different but this is very cool to hear because this is not what I was expecting from Lana. So this gets me a little excited to check out more by her and see how versatile she is, which is pretty cool. And honestly, Lana, I feel like is a very underrated artist. She's had some big hits, but I don't feel like she really got into the limelight as much as maybe she should have or you would expect an artist of her caliber to be in because I don't I like I don't. I don't remember seeing her like on interviews, talk shows, whatever, you know, like in your face, like a lot of other artists, you can't escape them. They're in your face, social media, whatever. But Lana, I feel like is under the radar. She's a superstar because she's very, very popular, but at the same time, very low key as in there's not a lot of footage or of her, I guess. Maybe so, so maybe that's intentional. Maybe she doesn't like fame and she just wants to put her music out and then disappear. There's a lot of artists like that, which is good. That's cool. But I'm just thinking like why I haven't seen much of her. Anyways, dope song, very cool, very different, down to play it back, not itching to play it back, excited for more, and hopefully she has a lot more versatility. So, that'll do it for today's reaction video, hope you guys enjoyed it, if you did, leave a like, leave a comment down below, it helps the channel grow, helps YouTube algorithm. If you're new here and you haven't done so, be sure to hit that subscribe button, I drop a video every day. If you're not new here, welcome back, appreciate the love and support. You don't know what to do, leave some comments down below, what do you think, do you like it, do you not like it? Is this a very weird song, or is this very normal for her? Y'all let me know if there's anything else I should get into or that you want me to specifically check out. Comment that down below. If you're a fan of Lana Del Rey, be sure to support Lana. Always support the artist, the band, YouTuber, entertainer, whoever's making content and music for you. Support that person. So with all that being said, hope you're having a great day. Send a positive vibes your way. And until next time, I'm out. I'm
ride for me Wanna win your heart, I'm trying 